Halfway there. Welcome back to another episode of Shut Up and Fish Guam. Today's another beautiful day out here on the water. Last time I went out bottom fishing, uh, we weren't able to make it happen the way uh, the way I would have wanted it. But uh, today we're out here again, hoping to make the magic happen, chasing the dream, so to speak. Um, you know, we usually are out trolling or on a fishing charter. Today we got a uh, some free time to to come out and try and catch some fish for the family. So that's what we're gonna try and do. Hopefully it'll be a nice productive one. Get you guys some good content with this video and we'll see. Wish us luck guys. All right, we're hooked up. Let's hope it stays on the line guys. Let's turn that luck around. So this thing reads in meters, so we're gonna go down uh, about 300 meters. Let's just put it that way. All right, it's gonna be a while. Hopefully next time we see you guys, we're hooked up. All right guys, we're on the bottom. We're gonna get our sinker just off the floor, okay? Now it's a waiting game. All right, we're still waiting on the hit on this side. But we're hooked up on the other side. We got color. So you guys can see we're chopping up some bait. Uh, we got some fresh tuna from our charter yesterday. We're, tuna is great sashimi, great fried fish, but it it is the best bait for, for any type of bottom fishing or shark fishing. Or just, yeah, it's the best bait, period. I'm gonna set up and do another drop here on the, off a of pinnacle here on the side. Uh, wish us luck. All right, just, my luck per the usual my bad luck fishing is slow we haven't hit any fish since early this morning but at least we got food right you know what time it is check it out i don't even know where this meal prep thing is from but it's some sort of salmon i think and green beans and rice so looks pretty healthy to me enjoy this lunch and we'll see what comes out with the rest of the rest of the day we still got an afternoon left so wish us luck guys watch the rod tip guys watch the rod tip up again there yeah. all right we're trying to jig versus bait here and obviously bait is winning so I'm gonna switch back to bait not really a jigger anyway but wanted to try it check this rod tip out guys
What did we learn today, Uncle Louis? What did we learn? Yeah, we learned uh, patience. Patience is the key, no? Patience is the key word. Not going there in the kitchen and check. <laughs> guys we just got a nice double onaga there after hours of nothing nothing but but hoping and wishing it just shows you that uh patience patience and perseverance that's the key that's the key to fishing like this all right we just got something 1200 feet down what do you guys think it is 1200 now? 1100, 1200, we're at. What do you think it is? Huh? Might be a fish. Might be a fish? 1200 feet, guys. What do you think this is? It's a mystery. Alright, we've had this on for. About an hour now. It's a monster, guys. Let's just pray it stays on the line. You have a gaff here, right? I got a gaff. You you better believe it, my man. Check it out. This thing has been fighting for over an hour, guys. I shit you not. Ooh, the suspense is killing me. I don't know about you. Check it out. Could be one of three things. Could be multiple Onaga. I don't think that's it though. It, it, one big God out grouper. We call it God out here on Guam. Or what I don't want to say it might be is a shark. I hope that that's not it. I hope it's a God out. Could be three Onaga. I don't know. I think it's a God out. I'm hoping it's a God out. I just hope it stays. Oh, I don't even want to look at the lines making me nervous, guys. what we didn't want it to be guys it's exactly what we didn't want it to be damn Woo, look at that check out that shark that's a shark or a marlin whoa look at that shark that's a shark that's a marlin what kind of shark is that what the hell? Look at that! Look at the fin of that thing! Look at this! Look, look, man! Look like a marlin, but it's a shark. You can tell by the fin and the look at the color of the belly. Woo! That's big. Look at it. The line wrap it. The line wrap the body is a tiger shark, huh? Mm -hmm. I think so. Tiger shark. Mm -hmm. So what you guys didn't see is that that big shark got tangled up and we cut the line. We have to cut the line and we just made a new rig to drop down or we're making a new rig to drop down on this side. So uh, we, we had to help both uh, secure, hold the line. It was, it was crazy. I couldn't video what we just did, but uh, we got our most of our line back our lights our swivels and we release the shark safely so uh no haters out there telling us about shark uh cruelty there's no shark cruelty here we let that giant shark go guys oh i really wanted that to be a god out though right 
Yeah, there was like two nice ones caught recently, right? Uh, uh, the Big Dan and uh, Stephen Dilla. Yeah, there's been two recently caught, so I was hoping that we were going to be the third lucky one, but they don't happen that way. Just wanted to let you guys know we released the shark safely and uh, no harm, no foul. Guam.com <laughs> and Uncle Louis. Not on the dock, but on the in <laughs> on the, the parking lot. On the road. <laughs> on the road. It was go. a quick, qu quick day, touch and go. We went up, got what we needed. Now we're here making dinner with our family and friends. Our friends family. Our family. Nice. our family and Kiwi. And Kiwi came through. Holy. Kiwi got came all through. Today. Hey. Kiwi all right. <laughs> I think it's super sweet. Yeah. Damn. Where are you going? You send them away? Teach each other the tricks. Alright. Everyone's a sous chef tonight. Everyone's got some ideas. <laughs> 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 okay, you guys got a cutting board. It's finished. Fresh Onaga and ribeye right here in the parking lot with the homies. Yep, that's what I said. Eat good.